Bonjour 93, c'est pas seulement de l'actu, non C'est de la musique aussi, et beaucoup de musique. Aujourd'hui, j'ai un coup de cœur. Un coup de cœur qui nous vient tout droit d'Afrique du Sud et il nous fait vraiment le privilège d'être là aujourd'hui. Il s'agit de Ras Dumissiani. Ras Dumissiani, bonjour. Bonjour, ma soeur. Comment vous avez tout Ah, ok. Nice Donc, Ras, comme vous le voyez, Ras ne parle pas français. Donc, je vais me charger de la traduction pour vous, chez vous. So, my first question for the audience who may not know you yet. Uh, I would like to know how and when did music come into your life? Really, it's a good, good question. I play football before, mm -hmm. so I have a little problem uh, with the health, mm -hmm. I would say. So I could not play more longer, just okay. with my left leg, you know. And then I could not carry on and play okay. the football. Okay, I see. So yeah. you were not destined basically to, to embrace an international career? Uh, no, but no? I was, uh, I was, uh, I, I was somebody who sing on church choirs okay. and then school, school choir. Uh -huh. And then I was always uh, been seen like somebody who sing so good. Okay, so you were Well, well I never even checked that. Okay. My father was a singer. Oh, know? really? Yeah, he sing with Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, mm -hmm. the international uh, 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 choir from South Africa, you know, mm -hmm. they call it Imbube, you know. Okay. And So you've always been familiar with music? With music, mm -hmm. but I was not inside in it. I, I sing very good before. Okay. Everybody say, you have a good voice. <laughs> and so everybody can hear my voice even on a choir, you know. <laughs> it was something special. You know? Okay. But it was not inside, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, the day, one time I have somebody I knew, uh, an elder very close to my house. Mm -hmm. I met him in the city. He said to me, yeah, you can sing. I know you sing because you were very good in the school. You have a good voice. I want you to come and sing for me on my reggae, okay. my reggae band. Mm. And, so and he was in South Africa, right? South Africa that okay. time. And, Donc, and Mitiani, comme je le disais, qui est originaire d'Afrique du Sud. And the reggae band was called uh, Uh, oneness, love and music. Love and music. Yeah, and he said to me, come on, we need a singer, you know, because our singer left us, you know, mm -hmm. so you can sing. It was like very strange for me, but I told him, I will come by and listen, and then I try, you know. Okay. So as I'm a man, even before mm -hmm. I play music, but I can play guitar as well. Okay. But not lead, mm -hmm. I can, you know, play anything, mm -hmm. you know. So how many how many musician was composed uh, the group uh, Oneness Love and Music? It was eight uh, members, like eight you members. Know, just Rasta people, you know. So you were the leader, the vocal yeah. Leader. And then I was uh, a leader when I come. So then when I come, they changed the band to mm -hmm. African Kaya, you know. Okay. African Kaya band. So now that's basically the band you play with nowadays. Yeah, yeah, but. Uh, But, but at that time, when I come, it was oneness, mm -hmm. love and music. It changed. Yeah. And then one guy, a drummer, mm -hmm. he said, we better change the name to African Kaya Band. Mm -hmm. And I, maybe we, we, we played two, three concerts with African Kaya Band. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I changed the band name All right. to Africa Kaya Band. Okay, you shortened yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And short it out and not make it African Kaya Band, make it Africa Kaya Band, you know? Okay. And I then see. from this time, is Africa Kaya Band, you know, until this time I carry Africa Kaya Band okay. until today. Okay, you know? so you toured all over the world? All over the world, you know, right? in Jamaica, Jamaica America, as well. Australia, the whole Europe, mm -hmm. I would say, you know? And what do you think about the French audience, especially? Is my sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, that's why I live here. Okay. Because people here love me. Uh, it could be not maybe any place or England or any place I have family now in mm -hmm. England. Everybody from my house in England. Okay. But France is a special, uh, special is my place home. for you. Yemen is, is, is a second home. Mm -hmm. 
and the third home is Israel. Okay, so you settled down your, your luggage here in Paris, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's my second home, my third home is Israel. Okay, Israel. Israel, okay. yeah, my heart, you know. Okay. It's a way <laughs> I love to be, you know. Yeah. Okay. I also heard that you came from a real special descent. Uh, you're from a royal family, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah. I'm coming from a um, uh, royal family. Mm -hmm. um, my father, father, is descended from King Shaka Zulu. Wow. Can you explain who was Shaka Zulu in South Africa? Yeah, for me, he's the one, he's the one man who gives me strength. Really? How? Yeah, he is a, a hero mm -hmm. to me. Some people think he's a bad man. But for me, he was a hero. Okay, so he because, was inspirational. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. Because he was strong. At that time, today we have journalists who can tell, who can say things to people. But at that time, there were no journalists. I know. You know, mm -hmm. so you just on your own. And he, he, he taught me a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, and he says a lot of things that I still remember it. When I hear the people saying things, but Shaga was somebody, he, 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 he was strong, you know, mm -hmm. don't give up. Like a warrior. Yeah, <laughs> don't give up. I'm a Zulu warrior. Yeah, okay. don't give up. You just don't think about other people. Think about yourself, mm -hmm. what you do right now. And if you, are, if you are a soldier, you can't sleep on the front line, on the patrol. You must be always awake. <laughs> <laughs> you he taught me a lot of things and still things I see today. So. Okay. Yeah, cool. he's, he's, he's my mm -hmm. hero, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Donc, Razdin Siani, qui nous sort uh, actuellement son huitième album, Motherland. Motherland, uh, it's a new album. What, which special color do you want to bring to it? Yeah, it's a special thing, you know, Motherland, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's an album that uh, I work uh, on it uh, for a lo little longer time. Mm -hmm. How Be long? Yeah, because it's like I, it's the first time mm -hmm. I produce the album with somebody. Mm -hmm. Then, but the horns was done by somebody I don't know. Okay. Then I ask uh, the person who played the horns. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the horns much. Mm -hmm. I needed more stronger horns because the horns is not only saxophone, eh? it's saxophone, trombone, mm -hmm. trumpet. So it was simple, only saxophone, it was light. So I asked, who would play that? So uh, the person, no, it's my friend. I said, no, I would like to read. He said, no, 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 it's like, it's not like this. <laughs> then when it's about to come out, he tell me, no, the person say, you know, Kiam, use my horns, you know? I have to go back to redo the mm -hmm. horns. To redo again. Yeah, to redo it again. And now it's me, the one who arranged the horns. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very good on arranging the horns, but I don't play them. You don't play? No, mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't play any, mm -hmm. but I play all bass instrument, drums, mm -hmm. keyboards, okay. guitar. So you, you, you can play a whole yeah, bunch yeah, of... Yeah, yeah okay. but not horns. Okay. But I'm very good on arranging <laughs> them. <laughs> okay. So it takes me some time to mm -hmm. arrange the horns, okay. you know, but then it's finished now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy, I'm glad, and I hear it and sound very good. Uh, now I want to, just to travel back into town uh, by the time when apartheid took place in South Africa. And I know that you were involved, uh, I mean, basically uh, re reggae music can call for a certain uh, political involvement, true, right? True, so true. how did you manage to play your music uh, during apartheid? Yeah, it's nice to hear this. You know, Amiya is black and white mm -hmm. people, you know. Me don't have color, you know. The color of a man's skin is not important mm -hmm. than the color of his eyes. So I learned, say, I was, I grew up in a place where my mom, mm -hmm. my father taught me, never have complex of any color. If, because we, in a country where there is Japanese, Chinese, Indian, white people, and these white people rule. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't fear, you don't think, yo, it's Indian and white. Uh, it is. So you, you think for everybody. Every, yeah, everybody mm -hmm. is your family. Mm -hmm. 
So I take it from there. It okay. was a good thing. So it was a message for, of hope? Yeah, of hope and everything. So one time when I was a little, when I was mm -hmm. a little child, I was eight or maybe seven, I went with my mom to the city. And then a white woman come and say, oh, it's my son. I